The tropical cowboy's reputation as a skilled musician and hunter had spread far and wide, and it wasn't long before he was approached by a record label in Nashville. They had heard about his unique style of music and his ability to capture the wild and untamed spirit of North Queensland in his songs. The tropical cowboy was hesitant at first, but he knew that this was an opportunity of a lifetime. He packed his bags, grabbed his Gibson Flying V, and set off for Nashville. He arrived in Nashville and was greeted by the bright lights and bustling streets of Music City. He felt out of place at first, but he knew that he was there to do what he loved. He was here to play his music and share his story with the world. He was given a warm welcome by the people of Nashville, and he was soon performing on stage in front of thousands of people. His music was a hit, and he was quickly gaining a following. He sang songs about his life in the wild, of hunting pigs and distilling his own rum, and the crowd couldn't get enough of it. The Tropical Cowboy's performances were inspiring, and he quickly became known as the Tropical Cowboy of Nashville. He was invited to perform on some of the biggest stages in the city, and his music was being played on the radio. He was even invited to perform at the famous Grand Ole Opry, where he shared the stage with some of the biggest names in country music. The Tropical Cowboy was living his dream, and he knew that he had to make the most of this opportunity. He knew that he couldn't stay in Nashville forever, but he was determined to make the most of his time there. He performed as much as he could, and he made sure to soak up as much of the Nashville culture as possible. The Tropical Cowboy's time in Nashville came to an end all too soon, but he had made a lasting impact on the city. He had brought a touch of the wild and untamed spirit of North Queensland to Nashville, and his music had touched the hearts of many. The Tropical Cowboy returned home to Cairns, but he knew that he would always have a special place in his heart for Nashville. He knew that he would always be the Tropical Cowboy, and that his music would continue to inspire people for years to come. He continues to play his Gibson Flying V and hunt pigs in the wilds of North Queensland, always with his trusty Toyota Land Cruiser and a bottle of his own rum by his side. 